This is no agenda. Well, first of all, it cannot be ignored, uh, John. It cannot be ignored that uh, the world is freezing its butt off. And, uh, of course, this does not go well with the uh, global warming climate change theory and all the models. So a couple things. There is a BBC documentary. I've linked to the torrent in uh, the show notes, noagendashow.com. And uh, it is the, the new president of the Royal Society. And he, it's, an, it's like an hour long. And he is, it, it, I, I, I started to pull clips from him. I'm like, no, I, I could just play the whole thing. The whole thing is one big, you're a denier. And you deserve to die because you're a denier. Are you crazy? So, of course, it's hard not to deny the fact that it's pretty damn cold. And uh, in 2000, everyone was saying kids will never see snow again. And here we are 11 years later. And uh, kids are seeing plenty of snow. Plenty yeah. of it. So, Blizzards uh, in New York, London snowed in, airports closed. How does that work? So we go to um, the so compromise. are full of crap. So we go to the compromised ABC News. Uh, Diane Sawyer uh, tosses to Sam Champion, who uh, is, whenever there's something to be communicated, <laughs> like the new Madrid fault, or which I also have some news on, or the reason behind this incredible uh, reversal of fortune we have. We thought we were going to have beachfront property, nice and warm. Now we're freezing our ass off. Uh, is Well, it's, it's like a refrigerator door opening, John. That's the reason Sam Champion has more. It's hard to believe, but the official end to winter is still a couple of months away. It's hard to believe. This is Diane Sawyer programming you. Hey, not what millions of shivering Americans want to hear after all those weeks of record-breaking storms and Arctic air. But while it may be cold comfort, experts now have some intriguing theories about what has been going on. And here's our ABC weather, weather editor, Sam Champion. So very interesting. Listen to all the words that are being used. Theories, uh, hypotheses, experts. Um, this would fall under the category of science. science. The science is in. So we have to give you an explanation because, you know, even regular folks who don't think about stuff are going, hey, wasn't it supposed to be warm? Uh, I'm going to ask Sam Champion about that. Three quarters of the United States is frigid cold, while the northern reaches of Canada and Greenland are experiencing temperatures 15 to 20 degrees above normal. Uh -huh. Scientists say it's the Arctic air, normally locked in place, that's seeping down into America. Oh. It's, uh, it's, it's, there's damn Canadians. They're, they're letting their <laughs> cold seep down on us again, John. A little bit like uh, opening the refrigerator and the cold air uh, comes out and moves into uh, the rest of the room. It may have to do with the melting of the Arctic ice sheet. What? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I, know, I knew you would love this. What? <laughs> I'll, I'll explain it and then we'll listen. Because the Arctic ice is melting, it's like opening a refrigerator door and then the cold from that melting ice flows down to us in the south. Downhill. <laughs> That's all the yeah, it's downhill. It goes from north to south, from top to bottom. Don't be a denier. The science is in. Science.